that whole skill set is just beginning to emerge as people are thinking about it. Um, and so it's, you know, the biggest downside is when everything goes dark, what happens? Um, and if power goes out, if the networks go down, um, you know, if there's sun flares that knock everything out for a few days or months or a year, what happens? Um, how do we exist? Do we have those capabilities? And I've talked to friends who uh, were in the U.S. military and doing artillery back in the, they were learning it in the, the 80s and early 90s. And they knew how to do everything by hand. And that's not being taught these days. It's not something that you can do with a pencil and uh, a slide rule and formulas. It's all computerized. And so um, if the electrical components go down, they can't fire artillery. And the, the people who are you know, in charge of the artillery now do not know how, how to work that way. And so um, they can't do the fallback. And it's as we create digital skills, we need, still need to be able to hold on to, you know, the work sort of caveman tools as well. How do we do this on paper? How do we do, you know, do this in a secondary manner? It's not so much an if things go dark, but it's when things go dark. And hopefully they would come back. Um, but what do you do in that meantime? And so it's, you know, I don't have any more than eight phone numbers in my head. All my phone numbers are in my devices. And I either, you know, type in what I'm looking for or, or talk to, you know, talk to my phone and my phone will pull up, you know, one of the 3,200 contacts in my address book and, and call them. And it's, you know, the interfaces are somewhat melting away um, a little bit and which is sort of changing how our minds work. We're sort of off laying things outside of our minds to be able to do things um, and sort of handing it over to technology to do things, which they have its benefits, um, but just being able to have a fallback is good as well.